Yamamoto, on the other hand, kept staring at the ground and didn't react at all. <laughs> what? What in the JoJo is this guy's hair right now? Jessica and welcome to Love Money Rock and Roll. I want to give a huge thank you to Catapult for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in learning about Love Money Rock and Roll, please check the link in the description to check out the game yourself and learn more about it. I know I haven't played a lot of visual novels on the channel recently, but this game actually interested in me because of the description of this game, so I'm going to read it out to you. So the description says, Love Money Rock and Roll, the romanticism of the 80s, mystery and intrigue, betrayal and sacrifice hatred and passion all this and more in this new game from the creators of the legendary visual novel everlasting summer so we play as a character named nikolai his ghost from the past actually haunts him and nikolai has to decide who he can really uh, lean in and trust the dilemma of him being interested in money and power and also losing people so there's actually a bunch of different choices that you can make in this game including several possible endings with that being said, I'm very excited because the artwork looks really nice and listening to the music of the soundtrack on the theme song, I think it sounds really lovely. So let's get into this. Oh, please choose your game appearance. What, what does this mean? Clean, immersive. What's immersive? Oh, it's, it's an effect, like an 80s effect. That's actually pretty neat. I woke up. The fan was humming as obnoxiously as ever. Its noise must have been what woke me up. I was sick of it, of course, but it was a necessary evil. The summer heat was relentless, even with the doors open. Why would you leave the doors open? That makes it worse. It was three in the morning and the silence was sickening. Dear God, better uh, better to hear the blaring of the si police sirens or the shouting of tipsy neighbors or a screeching of a car tire. Anything but the obnoxious fan. I would have turned it off long ago, but I would have certainly been cooked alive by the heat. Hell, Russians winters are have nothing on Japanese summers. With effort, I got up and went to the kitchen for some water. What were Russian winters like yet anyway? Muffled cracking came from the four floors underneath my feet. But the rest of the house, which considered three bedrooms, a living room, a bathroom, and some pantries, paid no attention to its sole inhabitant. Wait, does he live in this house by himself? This is actually pretty nice, like in, in, in Japan. That's actually really nice. Damn, it was 3 It really was 3 a.m. I gulped down water greedily, spilled half over myself. Next morning, I had to go to school. Had to? Why? Why exactly? Maybe I was uh, the one who came up with these stupid duties and responsibilities, drowning myself with the necessary socializing and waiting for the useless piece of paper that would attest to me possessing a high school education. I must have invented this myself, as was n my wont. I must have made it all up alongside the other worlds that I fabricated daily for myself, for those I knew, for the whole world. These obligations were, were nothing more but stupid conversations of that world. But by a struggle of light, it was uh, it was also the world that mo most people viewed as the real one. I poured myself another glass and returned to bed. The moon, the moon shone brightly, animated every speck of dust. It's the mournful light. My room looked entirely different, like a portal to another world. A world that was beyond my imagination. Is this guy okay? <laughs> he just woke up from a dream and now he's like, you know, contemplating his life. A silver ray fell onto the table, inching towards a heap of paper. School papers and unfinished novels, letters, from my mother, from my friends in Russia, and... I got up and put a particular scrap of paper into the drawer. It has been a year since it arrived? Or... Why should it even bother me? Then again, why was it on my table? I should have tossed it long ago. I jumped up and took a step towards the table and came to a halt. How could I? It's not as if I hadn't tried before. More than once, the phone rang loudly. Very loudly. So hang on, is this guy living by himself? Because it just seems like he's a, you know, exchange student from Russia. And considering he got letters from his mom, I'm assuming he's living by himself? Like I said, that's pretty nice. He's got a pretty nice dig for himself. It was three in the morning. Who could possibly need to talk to me at this hour? A dejected high schooler sunk into the self-reflection? Although, I was used to it. Unless he's a teacher, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's answer. I'm sure it's not a demon. It's 3 a.m. Hello? Hi, you're not asleep? As you can tell, I felt a strong desire to hang up and disconnect the phone. But st stronger still, I wish she would could be here now, close by. How come? How should I know? Probably because you called me? 
She mumbled something un and uneligible. How are things in general? How should things be in general at three in the morning? I don't know. Great? Then they're great. Oh, quit it. Well, what did you want to hear? I wanted... I thought... I just wanted to call. You thought it was okay to call me at 3 a.m.? I saw the light come on in your kitchen, so I figured you were up. Are you spying on me? No, I was just... The line went silent for a few seconds. She must have been trying to think of something that wouldn't sound too ridiculous. I mean, she's spying at you at 3 a.m. Kind of sounds weird. <laughs> it's just that I couldn't sleep either. Why either? What have I... What if I had been sleeping? But you weren't. All right, let's start from the beginning. What do you want? I wanted to know. She paused mid-sentence, as if working up the courage before continuing more confidently. Are you coming to school tomorrow? What if I am? Then I'll come and get you in the morning. Now that's just great. It's three in the morning and you're going to come by when? In three hours? So we won't be late. You know what? I think I'm going to pass. Hey, you can't keep missing school at this rate. You won't be able to graduate. And then you won't be able to find a good job. And then... She got the entirely tangled up in the predictions of the, my future. Oh, well, no biggie. No biggie? Leave the door unlocked in the morning and I'll... You have keys. What does it matter if I lock the door? Oh, right. See you in the morning then. See you. I didn't feel like arguing. What was the point anyway? She would come and wake me up regardless. It was like... It was what she did almost every day. Why did I give her the keys? That was a while back. Must have been around a year. The cherry petals are probably falling on that day. Alright, so at the beginning of this game, the, he was dreaming about a girl and cherry blossoms, but I'm not really sure, like, if it's this girl or a different girl, because there's, like, ro different romances in this game. But to hell with them. I made sure to set the alarm so I'll, I'll be up before she came. Not that it mattered much, but this was getting old. What's more, I was worried about getting too accustomed to it, seeing her familiar face every morning. Dependent, dependent even, which is something I absolutely wouldn't allow to happen. So, if she wanted to come in the morning, fine, but she wouldn't be waking me up again. Why is he so grumpy? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, it is September 9th, 1987. I think it's September or July. I'm not sure which way it goes, but one of those. I'm assuming, yeah. A hundred bells chimes with a hundred melodies in my head announcing the morning. It's that melody where cheerful chirping birds, the construction of neighbor streets, the boisterous shouts of the street vendors, the damn fan that hadn't quit humping for a second, the grumpy muttering somewhere close by. Oh, it's a pink haired anime girl. <laughs> the mixed gaze of large green eyes, pouting lips, and two red braids. That's pink! And all for me that I hadn't slept in. What time is it? The girl picked up the alarm clock and showed it to my uh, shoved it in my face. It's so early, protested. The early bird gets the worm. This is this is Himatsu. Himatsu. I feel like I've known her my whole life. Or at least since my parents and I moved to Japan. Wait, so his parents are in Japan. C confusing there. Her mother is Russian, although she divorced him Himatsu's father when they were still children. Oh, wow, the sprites are actually animated. That's actually cool. Okay, enough lounging around. Time to get up, wash up, eat breakfast, and go to school. This is how most days start. Though, after all these years, I've grown used to it. Incidentally, I forgot to introduce myself. Nikolai, a high school senior. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Love to know more about you, dude. Niko-kun. Himitsu's voice carried throughout the entire house and no longer felt quite uh, so empty and lonely. I quickly showered and dressed and then went into the kitchen. The house is really too big for one person. In fact, it was probably designed for a multi-generational family. Grandparents, parents, children, grandkids. All the empty space felt oppressive even when my parents were still with me. Okay, so his parents are not here. Okay, I- he lives alone. <laughs> now I feel like a museum or a library. Who in their right mind would want to live in one of these, especially by themselves? Bon appetit! Same to you. An omelette and several kinds of salad graced the table. I picked up a piece of cucumber with my chopsticks and lazily rolled it around my plate. Not hungry? I am, but I can't live off grass like a rabbit. Him Himitsu frowned. So instant ramen is better in your book? I don't know about better, but certainly tastier. Hey, 
Hey! She popped her cheeks promptly, which made her look even like a cute hamster. I put real work into it, you know. K.O. I could say nothing to counter that, so I con concentrated on chewing. What are you planning on doing after school today? I don't know. Kyo Kyosuke wanted to go to the movies, I think. Did you have another idea? She set her chopsticks aside and looked at me intently as if she was about to say something important. Maybe? She laughed, trying to hide her embarrassment. Never mind, it's not important. Himitsu is in love with me. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't gather. <laughs> I've done this for a long time, but I've done nothing about it. At some point, I grew used to it that I couldn't tell any more that whether she loved me as a brother or a man. I, I don't know. To be perfectly honest, I didn't care one way or another. That's mean! <laughs> if you wanted to go somewhere, I can reschedule a movie. I, it can do without me tonight. Her face gleamed with an earnest smile. Well, actually, I wanted to check out this one store near the station. It just opened up. The girls at school won't talk, stop talking about it. Something else... Someone else in my shoes might have considered this a date. But I simply enjoyed spending time with Himitsu. She seemed content with our arrangement, too. You haven't finished your breakfast! What did I plan to? I still might have, uh, have to eat more grass for lunch. <laughs> Why did you ever make borship or dumplings or something? Borship isn't breakfast, and besides, I made it before. Is that how you pronounce it? I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Himitsu pouted. She had made it before, true, but not the same way I remember from my childhood. I wasn't about to tell her that. It's one thing not to know how to do something, you can always learn. It's quite another to to both, you know, and do yet fail and to meet expectations. When that's the case, there's a good chance that you'll never learn. You're right, sorry. Your Borches is very good. Borch, yeah, Borch. I repeated. Himitsu glared at me. Anyone else in her place would have had since long empty a bowl imaginary watch over their head. So, what's the story you were talking about? They sell clothes. She kept staring at me. Dresses, sweaters, skirts, clothing, women's clothing. Do you think maybe that I should go with one of your girlfriends then? I'm not saying no, it just might be awkward. Why? I don't know, it's just the way things are here and you know how I'm not always great with local customs. I was telling the truth. Anyone else would have long since gotten used to the Japanese way of life, the Japanese traditions and cultural norms, or at least the way of a high schooler. That's... no one's gonna think that any... think anything. It's not like we're... Mitsu was now completely flustered, which makes her upset. I couldn't tell if she was more upset with me or with herself. Sometimes, when I talked to Mitsu and um, only her, I would hit a dead end. I no longer knew what it was expected of me. Well, the other person couldn't understand why I didn't get it. In the end, the entire meaning of the conversation would end up buried underneath an avalanche of misunderstandings, which was snowballed with an, every new remark. At such times, it was better to agree or to remain silent. Uh, all right, all right, it's fine. And no one's gonna think anything. Why would they? Exactly! He must have said triumphantly and went to wash the dishes. This man needs to learn how to talk properly, and I guess maybe, maybe it has to do with his social skills and the fact that he's not a Japanese native, right? So he's trying to get used to the the culture and the language. Like, I can't really fault him for that if he can't, but if it's just him in general where he can't speak, like, there's some people who are not good at conversations, you know? Um, I have attest to that, like, I'm not good at conversations, but I can carry one as long as the other person talks with me, you know what I mean? And it sounds like Nikolai struggles to, like, keep a conversation. What was this kind of weather early in the fall called in Russia Grandma's Summer? In Japan, at any rate, it was still very hard at the beginning of September. Himitsu walked alongside me, smiling. I occasionally glanced over to her, trying to figure out what was on her mind. Not that I was particularly interested, more precisely, I was just trying to distract myself from my own thoughts. The image of falling cherry petals kept resurfacing in mind, dragging painful memories. I don't think it was this girl that he was dreaming of. Maybe it was a different girl? Maybe. As for Himitsu, she never, uh, never broached the subject. Was she keen on re Was she keen on avoiding reopening wounds, or was she just showing tact? Or maybe it was her. Wait, but they said they never dated. Ooh. Drama. Hey, Arthaniko kun, do you copy? Huh? What? I had clearly been daydreaming. We're almost there, and you're still sleeping? Himitsu knit her brow. As always, her displeasure looked more comical than intimidating. Not sleeping, I'm solving the world's problems in my head. 
Oh, yeah? What sort of problems? She laughed. The polite... The political sort? Not even geopolitical? Who else would solve them if it's not for yours truly? Your grades are a little underwhelming for the future politician. That... That's not important. There have been plenty of great people who didn't get their best grades in school. Take Einstein, for instance! I see. He means he's smirked. Yeah, didn't Einstein drop out of high school? <laughs> we would probably have kept chit-chatting like this if it weren't for the scuffle happening at a moment at school gate. Several people had surrounded the girl, and from a distance, we couldn't see who it was. Look! Said he went too quietly, slowing down. I listened in. Oh, who's that? She probably wears the same skirt all year. It must be a hand-me-down from her older sister. How does a bum like her even get admitted to our school? It's not a halfway house. Go work at the fish market. Careful now. You might catch something from her. It's not like I was going to, you know, with her. Hey, you're on to something. I bet that's how she spends her night er earning a little side cash. What the hell? Poor thing. He must have paused for a second. Isn't she in your class? I look more closely. She did look familiar. I think so. Are you saying you don't even know who your classmates are? Of course I do. That's Naka. Hita. Naka Hita. Iwamaru. I fixed my hair while looking triumphantly at him Himitsu. She was not impressed. In fact, she's our class president. Himitsu was still looking at me reproachfully. Well, what? I've never spoken much with her, and anyway, this is the first time we're together in the same class, so it's only been six months. Meanwhile, the scuffle, if you could call it that, was picking up stream. The girl remained stubbornly silent, only dropping her head lower every minute. This only continued to encourage the bullies. Come on! Who would pay money for someone like her? Except maybe a couple of hundred yen. The speaker mode of showing... The speaker made a show of the opening of his wallet, stuffing the bills, pulling out a handful and leaving them in front of Iwamaru. This is really getting out of hand. I muttered under her breath. The other students walked right past, pretending not to notice anything. These damn traditions again. This isn't right. Nico, don't. Let's just tell the teacher. He must have tucked lightly at my sleeve. And what is the teacher going to do? Scold them? My, my, aren't you ashamed of yourselves? I was staring to get work up. If I hadn't thought, think about, if I had to think about it, what business of mine was this? A fellow classmate? So what? I hadn't exchanged more than a couple of words with, uh, with her before this day. Still, it was hard to watch when the poor girls get picked apart by the entire pack. I'm gonna intervene because you know what? We don't like bullies around here. Also, I want to know what happens. Why should I stay on the sidelines? What if Himitsu was in her place? After all, we weren't exactly the richest kid in the school either. Sorry. He must only smile slightly in response. Hey! I yelled in and headed confidently in the other direction. Leave her alone! At first, they just looked at me in surprise. Iwamaru, on the other hand, kept staring at the ground and didn't react at all. <laughs> what, what in the JoJo is this guy's hair right now? <laughs> and who would you be? What do you, what do you care? Keep walking. Their tone was a challenging but only boosted my confidence. Four against one. Don't you think that's a bit unfair? You want some too, is that it? Oh god, are we fighting? Two guys from the group stepped up forward, cracking their knuckles for emphasis. Seems like they could do more than trash talk. What's the hero gonna do now? One of them smirked. Yeah, what? To tell the truth, I didn't know either. I had been compelled to stand up for Iwamaru by some kind of inflamed sense of justice no more. Because you were the- because here, you weren't supposed to act this way, and there, you were supposed to help your neighbor. But real life isn't manga or anime. In real life, I had no superpowers. I did- I did feel kind of like this was an anime moment. <laughs> like the protagonist's moment. <laughs> You're about to find out. I got up close to one of them, and froze. What now? But the guy staggered back, clearly rattled. Who do you think you are? The same instant, the second guy rushed up on me, clearly intending to shove me in my chest. My reflexes kicked in before I could think. Ooh, what happened? <gasps> Out swung my arm. Crap. Came from the sound of the ceiling's jaw. The world around me seemed to freeze. You and Maru and the other girls, and even the guy who I just punched, all stared, seemingly transfixed with surprise. But this only lasted an instant. 
You! Do you have any idea who my father is? Oh my god, is his dad like the president of Nintendo? One of the girls shouted, Don't yell! Let's just go! He's some sort of psycho! Another girl tried to calm her friend down. The second guy helped his fallen friend from the ground. This isn't over! We'll remember you! With those words, they quickly headed from uh, away from the school. That was actually really cool. <laughs> he must have rushed over to me in the same instance. Nikokun, are you alright? Yes, of course. I replied calmly while examining my slightly swallowed, swollen fists. Surprisingly, I wasn't shaking with adrenaline as much as I expected. Everything must have happened too suddenly. You a Maru, senpai? In all the commotion, I forgot about the chief. I forgot about the chief Kaza in this kerfuffle. She stood silently, peering sullen at us under from her brows. Are you alright? Fighting is prohibited on the school grounds, she said quietly. What? A dumb smile spread across my face. I looked over at Himitsu. She looked just as confused as I was. I'm saying that there was no need to get into the fight. In case you haven't noticed, I was kind of defending you. They would have left in the end. Iwamaru went silent for a second, then looked up at me. Her eyes flashed, just quickly as her indifferent demeanor returned. They always do. Regardless, you could at least say thank you. Is that- it's just common courtesy. I was even more upset now uh, than a minute earlier. And not only here, but the whole wide world! Iwamaru's only response was to raise her chin, snore, then quickly make her way towards the school gate. That's just unreal! I told you not to get involved! Himusa said quietly. But you did act like a real hero. Some hero, right? Where have, where have you seen heroes like this? In movies, the hero got thanked for saving someone. But you didn't have to do it for the sake of gratitude, did you? Himitsu kept smiling, which made me fluster. I'll see, we'll see what sort of gratitude the teacher gives me. I grumbled. Come on, let's go. I had known Kiyosuke since middle school. He came across as a down-to-earth guy with none the attitude of the local privileged youth. Hey, Nick! Did you hear what happened this morning? I looked around the classroom and spotted one of the girls that had been harassing Iwamaru. She gave me a mean look, but then quickly back to what she was doing. Whatever. No, what happened? I asked, even though I knew perfectly what Kyosuke was referring to. This morning? At the school gate? Kyosuke lowered his voice. There was a brawl! Some word for it. Couldn't they think of a better one? Yeah, well, I'm aware. What do you mean? Did you- his eyes lit up. He learned to he leaned towards me and then continued his rapid fi fire pace. Are you the guy? The one that punched Kuroskai from class B? Somehow I neglected to ask his name. I answered proudly and intimately and intimately winced. There was nothing to be proud of here. Now everyone was gonna cost about what a dangerous bully I was, and no one was gonna remember that I actually saved a poor girl from harassment. Don't get the wrong idea, I was just defending. My eyes were scouring the classroom in search of Iwamata. She was defending, but she wasn't there. Was I really looking to her for proof of my heroic deed? For confirmation that wasn't a, just a troublemaker? Well, anyway, I was defending a girl. A girl? Who? Kyosuke squinted. Don't know who she is. Anyway, what's it matter? It was natural reaction, you know? Anyone in my place? I looked up at Kyosuke. Any decent person would have done the same. Uh, yeah, sure. Don't forget to introduce me to this mystery girl of yours. Oh. Suddenly, BAM! Something jabbed my side, not too hard, but enough to be felt. On top of that, I was doused with a liquid. Uh-oh, another girl! <laughs> a girl holding a tray popped up from behind me. I was dripping with orange juice and gazed in bewilderment from the fruit of her labor. Hey, careful! I was more frustrated than angry. She didn't react in any way. Instead, she just kept looking at me in surprise. Finally, she seemed to come to her senses. You're the one who should watch where you're going. What? I was taken aback. I smiled like an idiot and even retreated a step. Meanwhile, the girl scowled and glared at me. I said, watch where you're going. I said, watch where you go instead of sleepwalking. You were actually the one who bumped into me. And why would I bump into you? I was lost for an answer. The girl was talking nonsense, but she was doing it so confidently that I couldn't help but question my own judgment. And why would I? How should I know? You're the one who bumped into me. All right, you got me. It won't happen again. I sat back and I was prepared to leave. Wait, she said quietly. You're, 
well, all wet. I looked at myself over. Not the prettiest of pictures, to be sure. And what do you suggest? I joint trip to the shower? Me? I wasn't... How could you even think? The surprise and confusion on her face gave away the indignation. Here was an insulted and humiliated victim, and I the culprit, naturally. Okay, just forget it. Everything's fine. Wait! Her tone changed faster than the weather in the tropics. Here, take this. She handed me a handkerchief. I accepted it without an argument and was about to thank her when she snorted and turned her in here and left to join her girlfriends at the far end of the cafeteria. What a strange girl. <laughs> I guess she assumed her right. All right, guys, that was a quick preview of Love Money Rock and Roll. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So it seems like a lot of things are happening with Nikolai. He's got to deal with, you know, painful memories of his ex-girlfriend. The girl next door, uh, Himitsu, who's in love with him, but he's not really quite sure if she does love him or not. And then we get uh, that girl, Iwamaru, who was getting bullied, but she's the class president. And then finally, Ellie who is like the queen bee of the school and um i guess like all the choices you make will actually affect nikolai's uh, adventure and how he goes through high school I appreciate the art style of it like it's really pretty and i think it's really cool that the, the the characters are actually animated so that's pretty neat the music is actually really nice too i'm assuming whatever choices you make will actually depend on how nikolai is gonna be because like every visual novel there's gonna be lots of different outcomes i'm imagining different romances you can do too and then different endings you'll get once again thank you so much to catapult for sponsoring this video if you guys would like to learn more about this game please check the link in the description and let me know which girl you're interested in if i'm gonna be completely honest i kind of like himitsu she's really cute but she's like you know i feel like they would have a nice relationship like friends to lovers kind of thing i feel like that would be good for him because nikolai seems like he's confused and lonely all the time especially after breaking up with his girlfriend anyway if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye